Hello and welcome to Bears Talk presented by Jay Brown Realtor. We are on this February 8th episode here getting ready into the spring sports season we go and we have two new coaches on the show today with you starting with the head women's lacrosse coach and Shannon McHale. Coach McHale, thank you so much for joining us here today. Thank you. Absolutely. So first time on Bears Talk, just tell us a little about yourself, your background and what led you here to Lenore Ryan. Yeah, I, um, I have a background in both Division Three and Division Two. Mm -hmm. um, so coached Division Three for about 20 years. Um, got really tired of the snow and cold up in upstate New York, so um, decided to move south and was which fortunate enough to, to get on with Florida Southern, who is a you know national champs here before I got there and spent some time at Final Fours and championships. So that was great, and then uh, moved on to become a head coach again at uh, Colorado Mesa and had some great success there. And uh, Lenore Ryan kind of came calling, and uh, it's, I mean the facilities are amazing. The the ability to uh, recruit here and get back to the East Coast is a great opportunity. You mentioned that move back to the East Coast. When did you know it was time to go from Colorado Mesa here to Lenore Ryan, be a part of this competitive South Atlanta conference, and come to Hickory? Yeah, I mean both both are are competitive conferences. I think. Um, I think just family, it felt like it was time to get back to the East Coast. Um, all my family lives on the East Coast and um, great great experience in Colorado, but yeah, time to come back and be closer to family. So, And um, I mean, I wouldn't have just taken any opportunity, so Lenore Ryan's an amazing opportunity for me. So. It really is. And we're going to look back to 2023 a bit. A 7-11 overall record for this Lenore Ryan side, but they had a winning record in conference play going 6-4 and four in the sack. What's your vision with this 2024 group now? I think the, the 2024 group is about kind of rebuilding mm -hmm. and um, creating their own legacy at this point. And so I think they're, they're really embracing challenge and seeing the challenges we have as, as opportunities for growth and opportunities to get to know each other on the team better. So I think they're, you know, seem to be really bought in, believing in what we're, our coaching staff is doing. And so um, I think, you know, it's just day by day. Speaking about cementing legacies, you have a senior attacker that has been wonderful during Lenore Ryan, Katie Cavanaugh, preseason first team all sack member, going into her fourth year now here in Hickory. How do you envision her to step up, be the leader of this team with this team, as you mentioned, on a rebuilding, trying to build a legacy for themselves? Yeah, I mean, I think Katie's great, a strong, strong player, um, obviously has had you know, accolades in the past and has done really well. Um, I think, you know, our whole, we have, we have some seniors you know, Joe's in the attack as well. Mm -hmm. And so we don't really need one person to lead. Yeah. I think Katie offers great experience and um, obviously, you know, has, has done well in the past year. Um, but we're really looking for a balanced unit and let everybody have their opportunities to, to lead in what way they can. Speaking about just getting into Hickory, getting into your first season here at Lenore Ryan, you start your season off with three home games right here in Moret Stadium. How beneficial is that for you to really just get your start here in Lenore Ryan at home in front of your fans? I think it'll be great to to build a fan base. I mean, we're starting off with a, a challenge um, with some you know, top teams, um, mm -hmm. FIT coming up from Florida, and um, also you know Tampa, who's mm -hmm. I think number three or such in the nation. Uh, we don't really pay attention to numbers; yeah. it's what you do out there <laughs> on the field. So um, I think those will be great. You know, you play a really strong team play some really strong teams and find out, you know, what do we need to tweak? What are we doing well? And that'll offer us, offer us the opportunity to, to find out how to progress. Yeah, you speak about those home games as well. And then you start off conference play with Wingate as well. It's just trying to really get the season going. You have all those tough competitions. But as you mentioned, this is a team that's been very successful in the South Atlanta Conference in years past. So what is that non-conference stretch like for this team to get into conference play and take on one of the top teams in the league? I think it'll be, you know, learning a lot about ourselves and, and how we need to, to execute um, our game plan. And we had, you know, a scrimmage. We have another scrimmage this weekend. So that gives us a bit of, a little bit of balance to find out, you know, how we, how we need to move forward and who needs to, um, who needs to, you know, change what they're doing and, and also continue to build on their strengths. And lastly, what would be the message to the Hickory and the Little Moran Ryan community? They're just trying to get to know you, trying to get to know this new program, new era. What would be the message to the fans out there ready to get going on February 14th? Yeah, I think um, come on out. We're going we're gonna to play a, a fast-paced game, and it's going to be exciting. Um, 
you know, we're, we're going to continue to build throughout the season. So we're excited about that piece. You know, like I said, day by day, just recognizing our progress and celebrating small victories. So I think, you know, we're, we're really going to enjoy, come on out, you know, see some fast pace. Like I said, we're, we're happy to support the community in any way we can as, as well. Looking forward to it Wednesday, February 14th, when we'll ride women's lacrosse back in action here between the bricks where they take on Southern Wesleyan. Coach, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. Hello and welcome back to Bears Talk presented by Jay Brown Realtor. We now introduce another head coach to you guys at home, the head women's and men's tennis coach in Sam Clark. Sam, thank you so much for taking the time to join us today. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So first time on Bears Talk, just mm -hmm. give us a little rundown about the history of Sam Clark and what brought you here to Lenore Rhine. Yeah, um, yeah. so I'm from a small town in the north of England. Mm -hmm. and was recruited by an old LR head coach, Tom Reese, but at Illinois Springfield. And played there for four years and then was just desperate to stay in college tennis and college sports. Ended up going to Charleston, West Virginia, was the assistant men's coach there for three years and had an amazing, amazing time. Really fell in love with college tennis at that point. Um, so then was really fortunate to get to step up and, and have some time at Maryland with the women's program. Uh, which was really a fantastic opportunity for me. Um, from there, bounced up to Cornell, was with the women's program for a year at Cornell. Again, really cool experience and, you know, Ivy League and seeing all that. And then this summer was kind of looking to make the next step. And I've known Kim for a while because she was the AD at Springfield when I started playing there. So we've been in touch for a few years and she got in touch about an open position and, you know, I, I snapped her hand off really. I, I couldn't wait to get down here. It's not like you've had so many fascinating stops across your coaching journey already here at the collegiate level, but you mentioned those last two stops, Maryland and Cornell, obviously Division One. but mm -hmm. what was so captivating about becoming a head coach again here at Lenore Ryan? I think it was a really good opportunity for me to to kind of test myself mm -hmm. and, and push and be a head coach and get to, to call call a program my own and, and take it in a direction that I want to take it in. But the, the Lenore Ryan piece felt like it fit perfectly because I know Kim and I know the direction of this department and the vision and the mission of, of this athletics department as a whole. Um, and it's about championships and it's about winning and that's that's what I kind of want to want to be about and want our tennis programs to be about. So, you know, talking to Kim, it was it was a great fit. Well, let's start with the women's program. We'll start on that mm -hmm. side of the thing. They were picked to finish eighth in the South Atlantic Conference, but this is a young group of ladies that can really shock some teams across the conference. Mm -hmm. What have you seen in that group so far since you've taken the reins? They're just such a cool group. They're mm -hmm. so, so fun to work with. And the thing that blows me away every day is just their attitude and their excitement to be part of a team and be together on court and it feels like they really just love being together and working really hard and being out there um, and they, they feel very it feels like they're very grateful for this opportunity which I am as well so it kind of it feels like a, a really exciting group to get to work with every day that we're as a coaching staff incredibly grateful for um, and it's a massive bonus and that they're also incredible tennis players <laughs> and, and they're, they're awesome players and I think uh, I think some teams hopefully are, are going to get a little surprise from us this year. Yeah, one of the key returners as well for this women's side is Alicia Wahlberg. The yeah. way that she has performed well here at Lenore Ryan. Last year she was first team all sack doubles mm -hmm. member, but she was picked to that line again so far this year. But how do you expect her to really step up as a leader here in 2024? She's been awesome. You know, she, she has the experience and knows what it takes to win in this league. Um, she's been first team in this league. She knows kind of the, the opposition and she was someone that right as I came in and you know Charlotte got to work with her last year um, it was clear that she was a leader of this group and, and very quickly fell into that captain's role this year um, and I think she kind of offers that calmness and stability from a leader of she's seen what it takes to win and and can kind of give that confidence to our five freshmen of, hey, like we can do this, I know what it takes, and we're more than capable of, of pushing for this title, so. Looking over to the men's side now, sorry mm -hmm. to cut you off there at the end, but 
you look at this men's group, they've returned the experience. Like the women's side, they're the more young group. The men, they have that experience mm -hmm. when you look at from the top especially as well. What do you think about this group now after the spring that they had and said, okay, now we can build on this for a good fall and then turn this into a great spring coming up ahead? Yeah, the the men, again, like they were awesome to work with as well. Mm -hmm. they're, they're so, so cool. They, they compete incredibly well. Um, and you're right, like we've got two freshmen in Leighton and Connor and they've come into a bit more experience on, on the men's side in that program as a whole. Um, but I love the the buy-in and the growth mindset that they bring every day. Like they're desperate to learn and they're desperate to figure out how to win. Um, and it's just, it's great for us as a staff every day. They're asking so many questions and um, they're eyeing up a lot of teams that have been picked above us in this league and, and they, they want to go take them down. So they, I think, feel like it's their time and mm -hmm. it's their time to kind of make a make a mark on this league, it feels like. Absolutely, for mm -hmm. sure. And with both these groups now, taking a look at that viewers for both sides, you know, not the way they expected 2023 to come to a close, mm -hmm. a little bit of a rocky end to that campaign for both teams. But now they turn the calendar here to 2024. And you've gotten a good start, two big road wins for both sides as well. So now they can kind of see that vision that you've laid for them how are they looking to have a very good complete season coming up? Yeah, I mean, I have to give full credit to them as people and individuals and as a team and to Charlotte, our assistant coach, you know, the way that they really came together at the end of last season mm -hmm. um, and bought into each other and bought into the mission of Lenore Ryan Athletics and they probably needed a little bit of faith to, you know, as a new head coach is coming in and they don't know what's what's going to be, but they, they stuck together incredibly well as a group. And um, the fall was fantastic for us. You know, we were able to lay a really good foundation and we made a lot of fantastic physical progress. And especially in, with the SNC department in that weight room, you know, we were in there a lot and we saw them get a lot stronger physically. Um, so I think fall, they really set a fantastic foundation to have, give themselves a great opportunity this spring. And now we've just got to go out and execute um, what we practice every day. You know, they, they look great on court and we've got a big one coming up this weekend. Hopefully it's time to go execute, you know? Yeah, unfortunately it's a while until you guys play at home, especially in conference mm. play on the schedule, just the way that it worked out. But really a chance now here to just say a message to the Hickory and LR fan community and just now they're seeing you for the first time, knowing that this program is trying to be led underneath your vision. What's the message to them as you get ready for this upcoming year? Just, you know, this group is so awesome. Mm -hmm. And I feel that support from the Hickory community already, you know, right as, as I've come in, it's been, uh, I've been so welcomed into the LR family and the Hickory family. Um, you know, and we've got some fantastic alumni and some fantastic connections. So that support is amazing and something that we're incredibly grateful for. Um, and just, I think we're going to be a really fun team to watch. You know, we, we start up at home on the 25th of Feb. And I think we're going to be a lot of fun to watch at home and we can get a big, big kind of crowd out there and, and it should be a really fun year. Awesome, Sam. Looking forward to seeing all the tennis there at the YMCA yeah. of Catawba Valley. They begin their competitive spring schedule this Saturday, February 10th at Mount Olive. You can check it all out on lrbears.com. And then keep in mind the schedule will get really busy around March. We're hoping to go out there a couple times as well. It does. Coach Sam, thank you so much for joining us here yeah. on the show today. Thank you, mate. Appreciate it. <laughs>